Welcome to our Coding Insights video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question that many C++ developers encounter. Our viewer asks, what should we use for iterator pointer when nothing makes sense? Let's dive into this intriguing topic. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. Let's discuss the issue of defining the pointer alias in our custom iterator, specifically for the two upper iterator. In C++, iterators are expected to have certain type aliases. In our example, we have defined the value type, reference, difference type, and iterator category. However, we haven't defined the pointer alias, which leads to compilation errors. According to the C17 standard, if an iterator lacks the pointer alias, it can cause issues with st iterator traits. This is because st iterator traits expects all five member types to be defined. Now you might wonder what to use for the pointer alias. One option is to define it as void or voids. However, this may not be the best practice. A better approach might be to specialize steady iterator traits for your to upper iterator. This way, you can control the behavior without needing to define a pointer alias. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When you're unsure what to use for iterator pointer, the standard C++ models for output iterator define it as void. This is a good approach for iterators that don't have a meaningful pointer type. If your iterator is an adapter, you might want to define the pointer type as a const pointer to the value type. This allows for flexibility while maintaining the iterator's functionality. Here's an example of a two upper iterator that transforms characters to uppercase. It demonstrates how to implement the iterator with the appropriate types and functionality. In the main function, you can see how to use the make upper iterator to apply this transformation to a string and an array of characters. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. When defining the pointer type for your iterator, use const chart sol. This ensures that the pointer can point to the value type while preventing modifications. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. When defining the pointer type for an iterator, the standard suggests using iterator traits. If nothing makes sense, you might consider using void, especially for output iterators. Alternatively, you can create a pointer proxy type that holds a value and defines an operator to return a pointer.
And that's it guys, we've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.